This is going to be a brief video on how to edit your point list on the Hilti PLC 400. If I go to my draw tab here and I go ahead and open up my, and you see I already have points listed on, on, the, on the screen. I'm gonna open up my point list and it's gonna show all the points that I have on here. There's a couple things you can do with this point list to make your life a little bit easier. One of those things can be, first of all, sorting your points by name, okay? I believe it sorts them, stations always go at the top. I see, sorry, station, obviously station S, so, sorry, S, alphabetic order, whether you want to be ascending or descending. I can search for a point name, so if I want to see, for instance, if I know a point is called station, I'll say enter. It'll pop up the uh, the point that has that attribute in it or that that text in it, um, and I will also let me show you how I did, did this. So if I open my point list, I can expand it by pressing the arrow again, so I can see every information about it, any attributes I have on here, any specified prism I have with with any of these um, points, and I have any hider rods associated with them, etc. I can filter the points. So if I want to see only my control points. Okay, if I want to see all my points, or excuse me, just my layout points, all right, or just my measured points, all right. Very easy way to kind of just check out what your points are doing by just these three simple options. Now, on top of that, this little edit key, the pencil, press the pencil. I'm now able to come in here and I can actually do just a little bit more. For instance, if you look at the top, I have a plus sign. I can add a point, give it a point name, give it exact coordinates of where I know it lies in my CAD. So if I have a surveyor that gave me a surveying coordinate that I don't have yet, I can type it in. I can specify the height of rod that these points go with. This is very, this is kind of uncommon, but you can do that. Any attributes you want to put with the point, and then obviously put it on a layer if you want, if you so choose to. Okay, so that's the adding a point. You can also edit a point. So if I want to edit, for instance, CP3 here, I'll say check. The same screen comes up, I can rename it, correct its coordinates, specify which prism it's looking at, etc. Same exact thing, except this time you're editing a point instead of adding one. Delete, okay. I can select multiple points on here and just quickly press check and delete them. If I press check, delete them. So I'll have to go re-add those points, all right. Or I can delete all by selecting every single one and deleting all. Everything but the active station that, I, I, uh, this is the last project I used in my total station, so the active station that's on it will not be deleted, no big deal. Everything else was deleted. Okay. Let me add some more points so you can see how to do this last thing. Let me just add some random points on here. Six points out of this fine. Okay, lastly, what I'll show you in under edit, I could make any point I want into a control point, whether it's a measured point or a layout point, I can make it into a control point and vice versa. I can take any control point and make it into a layout point if I so desire. So for instance, if I mistyped a point out, out on, my, on my drawing and it needed to be a control point, I can simply come back in here, select which ones I want to make controls, tap, this is already selected, I'm gonna say check. I'm gonna make it a control point, say check. Make sure you can see that. Make it a control point. And there you have it. LP1 is now control point LP2 and LP3, which is what I wanted. Now let's say I want to make these layout points. I would just check them. They're already layout points, so they're not going to work, but I can check all the control points I want, make them layout points. It's going to say points are already converted because they already have them as names. So anyway, that's a very easy way to just edit your point list. Again, how to get there. If I go back, here's my drawing normal screen, pointless on the side. I can access everything right here. If I need to expand the list real quick for a quick view, I can. Sort, search, filter, and edit. That's simple.